Hello, second grade. For our virtual math lesson today, we are going to work on telling time again. So make sure that you've got your brains on and you are ready to think about the clock. So first, you're gonna need the practice page that should have been passed out to you. If you're at home, you can print this off. It's two-sided. This is what the front side looks like. And a pencil. Today, you're gonna be able to say, I can tell time to the nearest 15 minutes. So let's review. When we look at our clock, the long hand, the one that's longer, is the minute hand. And the one that's shorter is the hour hand. Now, what numbers do I look at when I want to figure out the minutes. So I'm gonna look at where the long hand is pointing to. Am I looking at the black numbers or the gray numbers? The gray numbers. We are reading o'clock, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and 55. Now, when I go home and I look at my analog clock, does it have those minute numbers on there? Do your clocks at home have the minute numbers on there? They don't. In second grade, Mrs. Miller and I have both put the minute numbers on our clocks to help you learn. But if you don't have them there, you have to count around the clock. Zero, five, 10, 15 to know the minutes. And we are gonna practice that today when it's not on your clocks. The hour hand is the short hand. And what numbers are we looking for for the hour hand? Hmm, the black numbers. These are the numbers that are always on our clock. So the minute hand, we're looking at all the gray numbers and that's the long hand. And the hour hand is the short hand and we're looking at all the numbers on the inside of the clock. Now, what time is it? Hmm. Remember, the minute hand, we're looking at the gray numbers, and the hour hand is the black. So I see that the hour hand is on three, and the minute hand is on o'clock. Now, let's practice together. I need, oh, what time is it? Now you might notice I have 415 written here and I don't have the numbers on our clock. So I want you to think about my hour hand, the short hand, where will that need to be pointing? So I've got the short hand pointing to the four and the long minute hand pointing to the three, which is the 15 for minutes. I have four, 15. And remember, as the minute hand goes around the clock, the hour hand moves just a little bit. Now, 1245. Can you think about where the hands are on the clock? Where is our short hand, the hour hand pointing? Where is the long hand, the minute hand pointing? There it is. It's not on one yet. It looks like it almost is because it's almost one o'clock, but this shows 1245. And I just want you to think about these in your head second grade. There's no need to write them down. 930. Hmm. Where's our hour short hand pointing? Where is the long minute hand pointing? We've got nine. It's about halfway between nine and 10 at 9.30. Alrighty, now I need you to get out your practice page and a pencil. 
When you look at this practice page, it says, let's practice together. As you watch the video, draw the hour and minute hands on the clock to show the time. So we will be looking at each clock and it has the time and you are going to draw the hour and the minute hands to show the time. And you're just gonna use a pencil today. You can see here, I have our example clock that has the minutes around the outside to help you. Let's get started. Five o'clock. You can pause the video and on number one on your worksheet, fill in five o'clock. This shows five o'clock. My short hour hand is pointed to the five and my minute hand is pointed up to the 12, which I know is o'clock. Let's move on. Number two, you can pause the video to draw 9.30 on your clock. Nine thirty. your short hour hand should be pointed to the nine or in between the nine and the 10. And your minute hand is down on the six because if I count around the clock, zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 to show 930. Number three, 345. Pause the video to draw 345 in on your clock. I'm talking to myself just so you know. I'm doing a video. Nope, you're fine. 345, our hour hand is almost to the four because it's almost four o'clock, but it's three. And 45, my long minute hands on the nine because if I count zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Number four, please draw 10, 15 on your clock. You can pause the video. Here's what I've got, 10, 15. My hour, the short hand's pointing at 10, and my minute hand's pointing at the three, which I know is zero, five, 10, 15. And our last, nope, I think we've got one more. So 145. Pause the video to draw this on your clock. 145. It's almost two. So we're really close to that two with our hour hand, our short hour hand. And we're on the 45, that nine with our minute hand. Here's your last one to practice together, 1130. Please draw this on your clock. Pause the video. 1130, our short hour hand is between the 11 and 12, and our minute hand is on the six, where it is 30 minutes around the clock. Now my second grade friends, I want you to practice on your own. So you are going to flip your page over and it looks like this. You have four clocks. These two clocks, you are going to draw the hour and minute hands on the clock to show the time. You're gonna show two o'clock and 7.15. Then, on these clocks, you're gonna look at where your hour and minute hands are pointing and write in the time below. When you're finished, please post to Seesaw. I can't wait to see all your great work and here's those steps if you don't remember.